In this video, I'm going to show you how to become the world's best speed cuber. I know what you're thinking. Ain't no way this nobody loser who's ranked 17,000th in the world is about to tell me how to be good at cubing. But trust me, I know the secrets, and that's what I'm going to show you today. This first trick may seem pretty dumb, but has been factually proven to work in the past. Let's be real, there's no point in being good at cubing if you don't have a fire celebration. There's a few aspects to a good celebration. First, run as far away from the timer as you can, the further the better, and the faster the better. We've seen this work with people like Luke Garrett, who seemingly the farther away they run, the better their average ends up being. Second tip, you want to shout as loud as you can, preferably a yes, dare I say a booyah. The ideal range for this would probably be around somewhere like past the human pain threshold for hearing. This has also been proven to work with people like Timon Kolosinski. And the third tip is pretty obvious, just clap at the end. We've seen this work with Max Park. It should work with you. If not, it's probably a skill issue. Tip number two is pretty simple. Just be really young. This has clearly worked with Leo, Yihang Wang. The younger the better, really. If you could get into cubing as an infant baby, that would be ideal. But anywhere from that to like still wetting the bed is around the territory you want to be. If you're already past that range, just click off the video. It's not worth it. Yi Hang Wang is still in that range, so there's no way you'll pass him, which is kind of required for being the world's best speed cuber. The last tip is one that probably the least amount of people know about, but arguably the most important. I'll ask you a simple question. What do all the top five cubers have in common? They've all suffered missed scrambles that have ruined a record of theirs. Luke Garrett doesn't actually follow this, but what he lacks in it, he makes up for in celebrating. So next time you're at a competition, if you get a miss scramble, that's a sign and you will become the world's best speed cuber. Bonus tip, you could be Asian.